Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to create charts in Google Sheets and later how to connect the chart into a Google slide. So charts are actually very easy in Google Sheets. Once you have your table created or constructed, you then have just to highlight the range of cells that you want to convert into a table, then go to insert. And then under insert, you should see there you have chart as one of the options. So we'll click that. And then the next part is you will have to see a default chart, which you can then change okay, from the right side pane. So under the chart editor, under setup, you should see that there's an option for you to change it to a different kind of chart. And let's say that I'll switch this one into a column chart. So you just have to click the column chart and you should see that it's now transformed into a different kind of chart. You can modify how this chart will look like. You can simply go to the customize. Okay, so I closed it. So I'll just click the dot 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 and click edit chart. And see that we have options here we're in you can click customize and you will see that each part of the chart is represented here so i could change the chart style into a different design i could switch it to become 3d here i could also change the um, horizontal axis for example if i want to have it in a different font okay different layout so i have here the vertical axis wherein you will see that you have some options like do you want to set the minimum and the maximum amount let's say i'll set the minimum to four thousand and hit enter and the chart should automatically update for the scale factor i could change it like instead of showing one thousand i could show by one hundred so I'll just switch it back to default and that's it. If you want, you could also bring in other fields or other uh, chart elements from here. I could go to legend and then I could say that the legend should go to the right side and should see that it shows up there. And if you decide that it's not something that will look nice in your chart, simply have to go back there and then just switch none. You should see how easy it is to modify your chart. It's, it's not really a permanent thing once you select something. You simply have to explore the different chart options that you see here and eventually get the hang of it. So here, let's say I have the series and then I want to change okay, its color. Right now, it's currently in auto. If I want to change it to a different color, then I could just go to that series option and then change the fill color from there and that's actually it about charts in google sheets now the next part of our video is how do we link or how do we bring this chart into a google slide so the first thing that you have to know is you have to remember where this chart is in your google drive you have to know its address and then once you have the address or you already know that you then have to click on go to your google slides and start a new one and then let's say that i am going to create a new slide for this and i'll bring in my chart so i'll go to insert and then go to chart so you could actually create your chart directly or Google slide by selecting the types of chart here but if you are going to get that chart from our Google Sheets then you have to go to from sheets and once you're there you will be tasked to choose which kind of chart that you want to perform or you want to bring to your chart so you have the option to see what are the recent charts that you have Okay, in my case, it seems that it's not yet there. So I'll get, just go to my drive. 
and then navigate your drive in order to find the file and this is why i mentioned a while ago that you have to know exactly where the chart is All right so i'm now looking for the chart one thing by the way to take note of is that your file that you want to connect to has to be a google sheet file so for example if you just uploaded your regular excel files into google drive those files actually retain being uh, excel files so you will notice this that there's an icon on the upper right or sorry upper left portion of the file so that it is an excel file so if you see that it means that this file is still an excel file and if that is the case then google sheets may not be able to connect to that file yet so if ever this happens to you then what you have to do is you have to go to file the google uh, excel file in google sheets and you have to save it as a google sheet file so now that you have it saved as a google sheet file then that's the time that it will show up here so now that you have selected my uh, file i'll click insert and then you should see here that it will detect the available charts in that file so you simply have to click the chart that you want and you should see that you have an option actually to link that chart to that google sheet file so over here on the lower right portion so if this is checked then any changes that you perform in the google sheets will reflect in the slide so it's up to you if you want to do that or not so let's say that i want to do it that way i'll demonstrate that uh, link later on so i'll click import and you should see that you now have the chart in your google slide and let's see if we're going to change our file in uh, google slide if that will change so i will navigate my chart okay um, this one and then once i've navigated i will modify it okay so i'm going back to the file i'm going to change one of the amount and say i'm going to make it nine thousand so you will see that it's now over my chart and the reason why it's not updating is because i have this setting a while ago that uh, the maximum is four thousand so i will change that edit chart and then customize the vertical axis and instead of four thousand i'll just don't put anything so by not putting anything you let google sheets decide what the maximum value is depending on the values of the table and now let's see if the google slide um, chart will also update so going back to the google slides part so you see that it's not actually going to be automatic however that chart will detect that there are changes in the original file you will see that that there's this update button found on the upper right portion of the chart and you can click on that and see that the chart in your google slide will now update and that's how you create charts and link the chart from google sheets to google slides i will see you in the next video